Hey, how are everybody doing tonight? Hope everybody's doing well. Um, just outside and it's a pretty nice day. And I wish I'd have done this at the church. Um, actually, this devotion tonight, just didn't have time today to go and do this. But uh, I was thinking about just talking about the track a little bit because um, the track that we have at the church has really been a, a positive thing. And I just want to talk a little bit about the success we've had and seen in that. Um, some of you know we did a track or treat, and we had over 200 and some kids actually walk around the track, get candy, and, and do all those things. So it was really kind of a neat to see. And we saw a lot of people participate along the track, passing out candy, and many people ran out of candy, actually. So that was a real blessing. And then it's also neat to see uh, some older folks um, be able to just walk around the track and utilize the space. So it's kind of neat to see them come out in the morning and, and walk the track and, and get exercise. So that's really been a kind of a neat thing. And of course, we just had uh, finished up flag football and that was a really successful time. We had a lot of fun, a good opportunity, and it was just a, a really cool event. And so uh, seeing the kids come and play flag football uh, we had a great season, great weather for it, and uh, just uh, at times when we'd have practices or or have uh, games, we'd actually see parents or maybe some people in the family just use the track and walk around the track. And the reason why I'm sharing all this is because it's just neat to see when we decide to do something as a church, whether it's Upward, whether it's Vacation Bible School, or whether it's this track that we've put money into, that God is able to use that. And then we just recently added scriptures. So if you ever walk on the track, there's different uh, signs that have passages on the track as well. And the reason why I wanna share that is because, again, going to the idea, it's, it's just great to be in partnership and working to our common goal. And that's just one example. Um, you know, we're, we're, it's kinda neat to see too because We've asked the church and those that want to help support the track to, to raise $15,000 and that would go to the paving of the track. So that way we can cover part of the cost of the track. Uh, it was about $35,000. So 15,000 of that was to, to make it paved so it wouldn't be just gravel. And why I'm sharing all this is relevant to what I want to share in my devotion time and sharing about how, why it's important to be a part of a church. Uh, it's not just the track, but I wanna use that as an example that we raised the funds. And so now we're, we're asking for 15,000, but we've raised 70% of that. And so we're almost done. So hopefully by the end of the year, we can raise this extra 5,000 that we need and finish off the, the goal of reaching that goal. But I wanna share that because there's a passage in uh, Philippians chapter four, and this is verse 14, and I think I, I, I want to just dive into this and, and talk about it. In verse uh, 14 in Philippians 4, it says, Yet it was kind of you to share in my trouble. And you Philippians yourselves, you know that in the beginning of the gospel, when I left Macedonia, no church entered into partnership with me in giving and receiving except you only. Even in uh, uh, Thessalonica, you sent me help for my needs once again. Not that I am seeking a gift, but I seek fruit that increases to your credit. So one of the things I, I think about this is, is Paul sharing how much joy there is in actually being a part of something. That he sees this church in Philippi, this, this church that he was able to be a founder of and, and help grow. And, and I think he just has this, this heart for uh, the church in, in, in Philippi, They're, he has a connection with them. And they're so supportive that they're sending him funds to kind of partner with him in his, in his mission to reach more people for the gospel. And this, this is another part, you know, we talk about fellowship is an important part to be a part of a church. But the reason why we also want to be part of a local body of believers and not just, uh, you know, go and, and, and send money somewhere uh, far away, but we want to be a part of a local body is because we can make a difference. We can, we can make change, uh, a change in a person's life, uh, whether it's through, uh, you know, the different ministries we have or, or hopefully through this track even that we have on the, on the field for people to walk around. 
that we give people an opportunity to experience Christ. We give people an opportunity to make a difference, uh, for Christ to make a difference in our life. And so what Paul's saying, is he's saying, you're, you're supporting me. You've been supporting me and you've been helping me. So this church is coming together and maybe they wouldn't have enough to just for one person to send or maybe two or three couldn't send the money to help Paul. But as a church, as a local body of believers, they're making an impact in Paul's ministry by helping him out to, to continue his ministry. And this, this speaks of also the fact of why we support missionaries. We, we support missionaries because we want to partner with them and, and help them. And, and another thing that at the end of this, he says to your credit. And so what he's saying is, is that your, your faithfulness, your willingness to join me in this effort and, and make a difference in somebody's life, whether it's, you know, the ministries we have at Porterfield, whether it's the, the ministries that, that we support uh, through our mission, uh, you know, that, that we support these missionaries that go out, all these things that we do, we're making a difference and it's going to be to our credit. In other words, we're going to be looked at by God as saying, hey, these are people that want to want to help carry on the cause of the gospel. We want to send people out. We want to make a difference in people's lives. And yes, there's so many times that we could say, well, you know, we could we could save money. We could we could hold on to money. And I'm not saying it's not important to save money, but I, I also think there's an importance of this is to invest our money, put our money in the places where we can make the most good and make the most difference. And so I, I just want to share the success about the track a little bit and say, hey, there were some good things that we saw. Track or treat was good. You know, we, we see people utilizing the track. We see people seeing that we as a, as a church want to impact our community. We're sharing the gospel through the scriptures. And we're hoping that it invites people in our community to come to our church and be a part of our church. And that's another step towards them making the decision for Christ if they don't know him. And so all the things that we do as a church... All the different events that we have, all the things we do, we, we, we hope and pray that we fulfill our mission. And that's to love people, it's to lead them, and to help them have a life-changing experience with Jesus Christ. And so all those things, those things come together from a heart that we want to make a difference. And so as we look at the Church of Philippi, in Paul's life, the Church of Philippi had this bond with Paul, and they supported his mission. They were like, hey, we're going to come alongside you. The first church that ever did this and say, Paul, we want to help you out. We want to help you have success. We want to see God do great things through you. And so we're going to support your ministry. We want to help you out. And so everything that we do as a church, when we give to our church, when we do things for our church to help our church succeed in that mission, God sees that as a blessing. And so Paul's saying, hey, I, I'm, not, I'm not here asking for things. I just want you to be a part of something. And that, that's why it's important for us. Another reason, you know, other reasons would be fellowship. We need fellowship. We need to have that relationship with people. The other thing is, is that I believe it's a, it's a part for us to have a job, like an opportunity to serve, an opportunity to give, to be able to say, hey, I'm, I'm with us. We're, we're, we're together in this. I'm, I'm not going to stand by myself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work with other people to make a difference for Christ. And so as I think about some of our missionaries, uh, Jason Talabad uh, in the Philippines, as I think of some other people that we, we, we send across and throughout uh, different nations serving, it's important for us to do that. And it's also important for us to do local missions or having these ministries like Upward. And so we want to continue to do that. And again, if you if you want to be a part with us in the, in the track and saying, hey, I want to, I don't want to just stop here with the track, but I want to see other things happen. I want to see us do other things. And you know, our our grand vision, our big vision that we have as a church, I believe, is to one day have a gym. When that happens, I don't know, but that's kind of our hope. That's our desire. Someday that we can have a, a gym to continue to do sports ministry and continue to see people come into our church and utilize our space and have more classrooms and and all these things, but uh, we gotta take it one step at a time, right? So uh, thank you for joining with me tonight, and I just wanted to give some encouragement because we see that uh, being used, and we see people uh, enjoying that space, and, and we wanna continue to be a blessing to the community. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much uh, for Paul, and for his example, and for Philippi, the church in Philippi, how they wanted to make a difference, that they wanted to support uh, Paul, because they saw value in his ministry. 
And right now, I pray for all of the missionaries that we have. We have different ones from from Thailand to other places, Lord, that, you know, we, we serve in the, in the Philippines that we want to continue to support and encourage. I pray you just be with those missionaries and that you just continue to impact them and uh, use them in many ways to impact other people for you. And I, I pray for us. I pray, Lord, as we do things, as we as we try to make a difference in this world, that we continue to look at ways that we can impact our community. And Lord, I thank you for the track. Um, I thank you because it's not something that we did that uh, really anybody can take credit for because a lot of people coming together to make that decision. But I thank you that it's being utilized. And I think it will continue to be utilized. And people are going to see that as a great thing for our church, but also a great thing for our community. And Lord, I pray, Lord, that that is an avenue for people to come to know you that it's an opportunity for people to come and be a part of our church that may have never really given us a chance or given us an opportunity. Lord, I thank you for so many other ministries that we have. I thank you for the upward season we had. It was a great season. I know for my team and the kids in my team, I, I thank you for some of those parents that are, are contemplating coming to church and uh, that they see Porterfield in a positive light. And I just pray for those opportunities to come more that we can make a difference for you and, and, and help people see you. Lord, I just pray, Lord, that even in, in all this craziness with this nation the way it is right now, Lord, that we can still have hope because we're called to be missionaries. We're called to be servants for you to make a difference in this world. And Lord, as we think about Operation Christmas Child, and that's another missionary uh, mission we serve and we also uh, help uh, support that that will go out and make a difference in this world, that those boxes will be a blessing to the kids and impact them in many different ways. Thank you for allowing us to be here together tonight on Facebook, and, and I pray you just continue to guide and direct each one of us. In your wonderful name I pray, Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining us, and you take care. Have a good evening.